Howdy y'all. Welcome back to Sawyer Ridge Farm. It's a beautiful day in northeast Oklahoma. The sun's out and it's just perfect weather. Just a little long sleeve. Uh, but today we're going to be talking to you about just a little bit of our chickens. Just kind of what we have in some coops and other uh, kind of what our system is around here. So but first I got some scraps I'm going to give the chickens. And uh, so let's call them over here and let's get uh, feed them a little treat. You know why? Huh? Because your call doesn't work. They're coming. All right, so this is our uh, main chicken coop here, and this is not your average chicken coop to me. And the reason why I say that is this, I, I refurbished this. This used to be my old playhouse as a kid. I'm 27 years old, so I was knee high to a grasshopper whenever I was playing in this thing. So it. This is old, but I mean, the, the, the inside was real good. So we uh, brought it over on a trailer over here to our farm from my parents' farm. And I'll just kind of walk around and just kind of show you exactly what I did. Um, I'll tell you this, that I literally, I'd be lying to you if I said I paid more than $5 in everything that you see here with the coop. The only thing that did cost a little bit more was these panels is run for the run i think i bought them off my dad for like 10 bucks a piece but literally everything i'm about to show you i had on hand i found it it was free like this thing only costed me less than five dollars and it, i don't even think it was five dollars but i'll start here with the door so this is how the chickens come out of the door right here from the inside and they just crawl right back up it uh, at night when they go back in the roost and so we come over here at night and to shut it it's kind of on a little system and we just shut it and then in the morning whenever we want to let them out pull up on that and it's good it's homemade so it ain't it ain't it ain't perfect but uh so what i mainly did is i got some old pictures uh, we'll see if we can put them in here of what this used to look like before what I did to it. Um, I think we have a couple pictures of it. We'll see if we can post that in here so you can kind of get an idea of what it looked like. But over here is the door. And uh, this door used to be right here. Now I'm six foot four. And so the, the, bot, the top of the door used to be right here. So we definitely had to extend this. I think I extended this to like six, 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 seven, and so I kind of just reframed this in with scrap wood I had. All right, so let's uh, let's go inside. I'll give you a little bit of a tour on the inside and how I set everything up. Come along. So sorry if it's kind of dark in here. Uh, I do have a light, but I mean it's not very good. This is actually a it's an LED light, and it's actually solar powered. There's a little wire you can probably see here and comes around and goes up top and uh, you can actually buy these on amazon uh they're pretty cheap i think it was like six bucks but uh so right here's chicken coop this is the door i was telling you that they come in and out of right here a little trap door go down and then right here are the roosting bars just regular metal bars uh we do kind of a real deep uh kind of a mulch method with pine shavings we just try to make it somewhat thick this probably needs to be cleaned out pretty soon. Um, just try to make it as clean as possible. Uh, so we got these nesting boxes here. Like I said, this was I got this from my parents, and it didn't have the 
little kind of racks on here so i just went out in the woods cut some uh lambs and just screwed them on there and it was work it's free um so here's a little bit of fear actually i need to feed them right now they're a little low so i just come over here and just pretty much that easy to feed them uh, if you want to look up here, I got a weight. I need to change this weight out. But you'll see this pulley system and this rope that goes outside. We'll walk outside and just remember this and I'll tell you what this weight's for. If y'all uh, saw this little CD, little disc sitting in here, uh, one thing that we were kind of seeing was some, some wild birds would come in here and start eating their feed. And, you know, when you're trying to be productive, that's, you know, taking, that's money taking. We don't want to feed everybody around here but uh we started looking it up and to see how we can kind of turn them they kind of said put a put a disc in here and that kind of shiny that bright when the light hits it shines and i guess it deters them um think it's working we haven't really seen anything and the, the feed seems normal so i i guess it's working but uh we're gonna keep using it seems like it's working but uh that's pretty much the uh the inside all right, so I'm going to show you a little bit of the outside. This is the door. They just come in and out of just your regular latch. Just normal. I think this is the, the only thing I really bought. I think this was like $2. But um, just cut a little hole here. Put this here for ventilation and also just to come up at night and look in here. So you don't actually have to open the door and get in there and, you know, then start squawking and running all over the place. You come back over here. And on both sides here, if you see... I cut the wall out and I put this mesh up here and that's just another ventilation because you want good ventilation in your coop and so I just put that there on both sides for the ventilation and so that weight I was talking about on the inside so what this is which I got to fix the way I got to find the right type of weight so it kind of this one don't hold it too well but you open it up here and if you want this this is how you get the eggs you don't want to go inside and get them you just come back in here pick them up you may be wondering why the golf balls are in there the hens we have are somewhat newer um, so they sometimes don't know when we first got them they didn't know to lay in there if you put golf balls in your nest boxes they uh, it kind of entices them to lay in the boxes another reason for the golf balls is you have snakes Snakes will come in here and they'll eat the golf ball. They'll leave and most likely die because they can't digest it. We actually came in here one time. There was a, a snake in here. We pulled it out, killed it, and we seen that there was uh, a golf ball in it. And so they, they do, they'll, they will eat them. But this is one way you can kind of make your coop to, so you don't have to get inside the coop all the time. This, the weight. Normally, if I had a right amount of weight on there, it would hold this up. And you can put a little latch and hold it that way. But that's what that weight on the inside is for. But I'll just kind of give you a little tour on the outside. This is just a, the run. Like I said, these are the panels that I got from my parents. This is a uh, little compost bin that we have. We just throw in some scraps and what have you in here. Just trying to give you somewhat of an idea of kind of how big the run is. It's a it's a decent sized run, nothing too big, but on, honestly we don't keep them in here. We usually uh, we let them out of the coop, and they come in here, and, and usually about 11 o'clock or so we let them out in free range because we realize that uh, when we just let them free range. Just right in the morning, go out, they would lay their eggs wherever the heck they wanted to. And we didn't want that. We wanted to, you know, get our eggs. So we kind of did some experimenting and did some timing and stuff. And we realized about 11, maybe 12 o'clock-ish at the latest, they've mostly done all their laying. And then that's when we actually opened up this gate over yonder here and uh, let them out and let them free range. Here's just a regular kind of your... 
chain link kennel gate. It's nothing, nothing crazy. Like I said, pretty much almost everything here that you see was free, other than this paneling. Everything up here, the tin, all screw, I mean, everything. I just, it was free. So, I mean, if you got some scrap stuff, I mean, you can kind of do the same thing. Just like I said, I don't like to throw stuff away and I like to refurbish things just like I refurbished my old playhouse that I used to play in when I was a little kid. So it's pretty, it's pretty neat to me, you know, getting to, getting to see that. But we do have another setup that we do in the other field because we have 19 chickens total. We got 15 over in this kind of area. We love free range. But then we got a couple other ones over here in this pen, and I'll kind of show you what their setup is like. So come along, we'll go look at that. All right, so we are actually in the goat pasture. And this right here is the other uh, way we kind of house them. This is actually a chicken tractor. We kind of turned it more into like a permanent coop, you could say. Um, we only have four, we have four hens and a rooster here. And the reason why we split them up is because we tried to put them all together but the two roosters we have were fighting. I mean, they were about to fight to the death. And we really like both roosters. We like the way they look. And so we didn't want to have one die or get rid of the other one. So we said, we got two paddocks. Let's just put them over here. The four hens we have here, we raised them. We uh, hatched them out and everything. So they were raised here. But this is what they stay in. And what it is is... Like I said, it's actually a tractor I built years ago. And here's a little door that they come in and out of. It's just a regular little latch door, go down. That's how they get in and out of here. They go in at night and roost. Um, so like I said, this is a tractor. Right here, there's uh, pins that come out and you put wheels on it. When you put the wheels on both sides, over here, there's a little uh, handle. You just kind of grab here and pick it up and move it where you want. The reason why we kind of made it a stationary coop right now is because this thing is daggum heavy. I, I built it to last and it's, it's everything's made out of two by fours and that means it's heavy. So we just kind of made a stationary coop right now, and if we really want to push it around sometime, we can, but just right now, it, it's just not feasible for us um, just because of how heavy it is. But if you come over here, there's two nesting boxes right here, and all you have to do is come over here, there's a little latch, lift up, got a hay and golf ball in there, and they just pop in and out whenever they want. And then if we ever need to get in there and whenever we're feeding and watering, we got a little door up here. Put that in there so it don't fall on you. We got the water, got their feed, and uh, got some little grid over here for them, some calcium. So we're gonna try to get the camera down here, but if you look down inside this pen, I don't know if the camera will pick up on it. We're gonna see if it works, but there's two roost bars in there. And that's where they roost up at night. And they come back every night. And on the sides, just I just put, I reused this, this is just mesh. And the other side's chicken wire because the goats were kind of messing up on it. But we just put some tin on, three, on all three sides, you know, so it gets windbreak and it gives them out of the weather and everything. We just put some, this uh, steel metal roof on it. And like I said, it's really heavy. It can be moved if we need to, but we just choose to keep it this way. I am in kind of the works gonna make an actual chicken tractor, except I'm definitely using two by twos. It's kind of gonna be similar to our rabbit tractor, except it just is not gonna have a, a, a mesh floor on the bottom. But it's going to be somewhat similar to this, just a little bit smaller and just easier to move around. And we got Premier One netting, as we talked, as we, as we said in previous videos. Uh, we're going to be trying to do that, maybe do it on our future garden to get them tilling up that and just 
uh, see how that works. We never tried it, but we've watched a lot of videos and stuff, and it seems like a lot of people had success with it. And so I'll be uh, making one of those for uh, later to come. But the other thing is, is the types of chickens we have, we have a variety of them. And the reason why we have a, a lot of them in different kinds is because we're, we want them to lay different colored eggs. We have like four or three different colored eggs. And whenever we sell them, just a lot of people like them. I guess you could say they're just fun to look at. They're not just white, they're not just brown. We have like white, brown, a little bit of their darker brown. We have green, we have blue. And it's just kind of more of a fun thing. Just, you know, people get, you can almost use them as decoration you know, if you want to. Just everyone says they really like the diverse colors. You know, kind of same thing with the rabbits. It's just, they're not all the same. And so that's kind of what we geared towards. So we try to find the breeds that uh, lay different colored eggs. And that's one of the reasons why you kind of see a vast majority. We, kind of, we did that on purpose to get that type of uh, colors of the eggs. But if y'all like this video, you want to, uh, know anything else about the chickens or how we do things just put it in the comments down below um, hit the like button if you like this video it helps us out subscribe if you haven't subscribed and hit that bell for notifications because we're trying to put videos out as, as much as we can and we want you to be notified and you, you can be the first one to see the videos that come out so y'all take care god bless have a nice day